Gurmil Mahagata, alas, uh, Kian Corlea. In October 2019, Leo Varadkar as Taoiseach apologised to the women wronged by cervical check scandal and promised that no woman would ever have to go through courts again to get justice. Three years later, and despite that promise, over 370 women have done just that. They have gone through the court system to get justice. Leo Varadkar Leo Varadkar was Minister for Health at the time uh, that the cervical check scandal happened. However, he says he has no recollection of being informed in relation to that. While as Minister for Health, Leo Varadkar said that short of an asteroid hitting this planet, the National Children's Hospital will be built for 750 million euros and it will be open by 2020. It is currently double that cost and could go up to 2 billion euros before it's open and won't be open until 2025. It's, it's an incredible situation. One of the parties that prides itself as a party of prudence is actually the party that is presiding itself over serious cost overruns right across the capital projects. When Leo Varadkar was Taoiseach in his last year of that, 35 of the 38 most significant state capital projects in the state were over budget. The National Broadband Plan, the National Maternity Hospital or others. It seems like if you put the word national beside a capital project in this country, it adds hundreds of millions and puts the project way over time. On his way out of uh, health, Leo Varadkar cut the mental health budget in this state by a third. He kept a strong interest in health, however, uh, when he was Taoiseach and he leaked a confidential document which was negotiated with the IMO to his friend who was president of a rival GP group. I asked Leo Varadkar in his stall, has he ever leaks from cabinet? And after a long pause, an awkward pause, he responded, nothing of this nature, all politicians leak from time to time. During the COVID crisis, when lives were extremely restricted, when ordinary men and women couldn't book a table in a bar and a restaurant, when funeral undertakers, brides, grooms and the hospitality industry were abiding by one set of rules, Leo Varadkar, along with others, dozens of others, parties with Catherine Tapone. Similar actions would have led to resignations in other Western countries. But he was saved because the Attorney General broke a traditional silence and said that the rules that everybody else was abiding by at the time were not actually the rules at all. Leo Varadkar presided over the longest and most restrictive lockdowns in Europe. He presided over the only governments in the whole of Europe that actually closed down the building of homes at that time. And despite the number the rising number of excess deaths at the moment, he is part of a government that is still refusing to investigate the high level of excess deaths that are occurring in this state at the moment. Leo when Leo Varadkar has been in power, the north of Ireland has staggered from crisis to crisis. The north is dealt with really only as a crisis by this government, instead of an opportunity for the freedom that Michael Collins once spoke about. And I would ask, since Leo Varadkar is taking the position of Taoiseach 100 years since the foundation of the Free State and the shocking state executions by, uh, of Republicans by the state, that he might use his position to finally put an end to civil war politics and offer a state apology for those executions that happened uh, over uh, 100 years ago at the moment. Leo Varadkar has been part of a cabinet that has seen one of the worst housing crises uh, in history. Record homelessness, incredible number of deaths of homeless people on the streets, record local authority housing waiting lists, record rents and record house prices. He's in part of a government that has seen record A&E overcrowding and waiting times and hospital waiting lists have got worse for so many people uh, across this country. And the party of so-called law and order have seen so many parts of this state starts to live in fear as the country has got more dangerous for them. More Gardaí have been attacked while Leo Varadkar has been in government. More Gardaí have resigned and fewer are joining the ranks uh, over the last 10 years. Now, Leo Varadkar is not solely responsible, obviously, for all of these issues and no political leader can get it right on every single occasion. But Leo Varadkar has been the most senior party in government for the last 10 years and has to take responsibility for these issues. It gives me no pleasure to list these litany of disasters. But there's been poor judgment, there has been a lack of trust, and there has been a harsh Tory political instinct behind many of these decisions. And for those reasons, I cannot support his nomination as Taoiseach.